All right, cave artists. On the board, we saw a list of what we need in this project. So before I begin drawing, I'm actually going to do something really silly to my paper to make it look like a cave wall. Silly, right? Oh my goodness. I'm going to still open this up. And just like a cave wall, my paper now has a really bumpy texture that looks like a rock. Your paper has even a torn edge today. So that's gonna help it also be like a cave wall or a rock wall. So on the board, I know that I need at least one person on my project. So a person, like a cave artist drawing a person, isn't going to be really, really detailed. It's actually gonna be a stick person. So I'm gonna start with a dark head and I'm not using pens at all. I am just using crayon. I'm gonna make a stick person. And maybe that stick person has some fingers. And maybe that stick person has a face. And he, he or she could have some hair. But I don't wanna just leave them plain. I wanna add some color around that person. So I might add just a weird kind of scribbly look. And what the cave people did this for is they would add color around their drawings to kind of make them show up and pop on the cave wall so you could see them better. My black is kind of smearing in there. That's okay. That's kind of how the cave artist would have been. So maybe that cave person has, oh, well, I'm gonna do a little brown maybe. Any idea what this might be? Maybe this will help. It's a fire. That was an important thing for cave people. They'd have fire to cook their food, stay warm, have some light. I don't have all the colors for a real fire because cave people didn't have a lot of colors to choose from. They had to use colors that they would find in the dirt or in berries or in the charcoal of a fire. The next thing I have to have in my project is an animal. So you will have some sheets in your cave today of animals. These can be tricky. Your animal does not have to be as difficult as one of the ones on the sheet. If you would like to make an animal that is more of just a shape, like the body of my animal is gonna be brown rectangle. And I know my animal is probably gonna need a neck and some legs. And I'm gonna do a oval head. I'm thinking this is looking like a horse. I'm gonna give this horse some hair and some hair on the back. And the horse needs a tail. And maybe I'll switch colors and make the eye and the mouth kind of darker. And I want this horse to stand out, so I'm gonna do a little color around it. So I didn't use one of the animals from the sheet. You can if you'd like. What else is on that list? I have to have a symbol. So a symbol is how cave people would tell their stories. And look, those kind of touch, no biggie. Cave people kind of just drew a little bit of um, all over the wall, a little bit of a picture all over the wall. And sometimes they didn't necessarily, they weren't about the same story or the same picture. Symbols. So here's a couple of symbols that they would use. A lot of them had to do with circles for the sun or animal tracks or shapes. So let's see, I'm gonna make the sun. Big circle. And I don't have yellow, but I have an orange. But my sun doesn't have to be like a real sun. I could add another color in there. That almost looks the same. I'll do some black. So you can make up your own symbol and you can have more than one, but do you see how I'm starting to fill the paper up? The last thing I have to have is a hand. I'm gonna make my own hand. I'm just gonna trace it. And I'm gonna trace with this kind of brownish orange color. Instead of coloring my hand in today, I'm gonna do what I've been doing on all my pictures. I'm gonna color 
around my hand to make the outside of it look darker. That's kind of making it stand out. That's what the cave people would have done on the cave walls. So as I look, I still have some room. I'm gonna add another picture on here and then I think I am done. So I encourage you to have the four things from the list. A person, an animal, a symbol, and your hand. But I would also like you to fill your paper. So if you have a lot of room after those four things, I would like you to keep drawing something else. I think I'm gonna add some animal tracks in there and then I'll be done. So when you're finished today, we're going to make sure your name is on the back. So I know why I didn't do that yet. And they can come on up to my table.